multiple intelligences is a controversial theory that suggests that intelligence is not a single general ability. Instead, it's made up of several distinct types of intelligences. This idea was introduced by Howard Gardner in 1983. He argued that traditional definitions of intelligence, like IQ tests, focus too much on math and language skills. Gardner believed that understanding a wider range of abilities could better reflect the diverse ways people interact with the world. Let's look at the eight intelligences proposed by Gardner. First is linguistic intelligence. This is the ability to think in words and to use language to express and appreciate complex meanings. People with high linguistic intelligence are often good at writing stories, memorizing information, and reading. They tend to be skilled poets, novelists, journalists, and effective speakers. Next, we have logical mathematical intelligence. This involves the ability to think conceptually and abstractly and capacity to discern logical or numerical patterns. People with strong logical mathematical intelligence can handle long chains of reasoning and complex calculations. They are typically scientists, mathematicians, and philosophers. Next is musical intelligence, which refers to the skill in performing, composing, and appreciating musical patterns. It also encompasses the ability to recognize and compose musical pitches, tones, and rhythms. Individuals with high musical intelligence are usually singing, playing musical instruments, and composing music. Next is bodily kinesthetic intelligence, which is the capacity to manipulate objects and use a variety of physical skills. This intelligence also involves a sense of timing and the perfection of skills through mind-body union. Athletes, dancers, surgeons, and craftspeople exhibit well-developed bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Next is spatial intelligence, which involves the potential to recognize and use the patterns of wide space and more confined areas. This type of intelligence is often utilized in different fields, such as architecture, engineering, and art. It is particularly strong in pilots, sailors, sculptors, painters, and architects. Next is interpersonal intelligence, which is the ability to understand and interact effectively with others. It involves effective verbal and nonverbal communication, the ability to note distinctions among others, sensitivity to the moods and temperaments of others, and the ability to entertain multiple perspectives. Teachers, social workers, actors, and politicians all exhibit interpersonal intelligence. Next is intrapersonal intelligence, which is the capacity to understand oneself, to appreciate one's feelings, fears, and motivations. This intelligence helps people to use their emotional life as a way to understand themselves and to guide behavior. Writers, psychologists, and philosophers typically have a high intrapersonal intelligence. Next is naturalistic intelligence, which refers to the ability to identify and distinguish among different types of plants, animals, and weather formations found in the natural world. This intelligence was added later by Gardner and is critical for roles such as botanists, farmers, hunters, and landscapers. Importantly, this theory is widely criticized by educational psychologists. One major criticism is that the theory lacks empirical evidence. Critics argue that Gardner's intelligences more closely resemble individual talents, preferences, or personality traits rather than actual intelligences. Some psychologists also believe that the theory is non-falsifiable and challenging to test scientifically, which is a hallmark of pseudoscience. However, proponents of the concept argue it has value in education. For example, it has been influential in encouraging a broader curriculum that incorporates music, arts, and physical education. It has also encouraged educators to focus more closely on students' different talents, personalities, and preferences in order to cater to their needs in the classroom. The concept also empowers people by helping them recognize their unique strengths and capabilities. So what do you think? Does the multiple intelligences theory ring true to you, or do you agree that it's mere pseudoscience? Let me know in the comments. I've also left my VARC learning styles video on the screen for you, which is the next educational concept on our learning journey.